Hello everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today, I am coming at you with a bag review. And it's none other than from one of my very favorite brand. It's uh, Louis Vuitton. So the bag actually comes in the dust bag that looks something like this, which I believe all of you are very familiar with. And uh, this bag has been with me for almost two years because um, I actually purchased it when I was in Milan almost two years ago. So this bag is my very first of its design. So without further ado, let me just um, show you the bag. So this is my very first Elma and it's in the PM size. So you will see that the color is very unique because I believe it was a seasonal color which I purchased in the December season. So I guess it is only available during that time only because right now when I enter into you know the Louis Vuitton boutiques, I could not find this color anymore. So uh, let me start by first giving you the dimension of the bag. So the length is about 12.6 inches, all right, and the height is about 9.4 inches, okay, and the width over here it's about 5.9 inches, all right. So as you can see, this bag has handles like that, meaning that you can actually carry it this way or you can put it inside your arm and hold it this way and it also has this thing here which they call it the leather key tag all right and this leather key tag has the prints that says louis vuitton which i'm not sure if you guys can see it well so there are keys inside there let me just push out the keys so that you guys have a better look of the keys these are the keys for the lock over here okay so the lock is in the silver hardware same goes for the zipper over here and also this part here they are all in the silver hardware and of course at the bottom this is how it looks like and it has four silver hardware studs so that you know um, when you put your bags down it will be able to protect the base of the bag okay so there are basically two um, zippers there's one and there's another one over here let me pull it up okay so you can actually choose there are two zippers here there's the one zipper over here and uh, you have another zipper at the top here so you can either choose to actually um, put all the zippers on the right side of the bag or the other side of the bag so for me it doesn't make much of a difference but I realized that I will usually position the zippers on my right side of the bag because um, I will usually use this bag with the strap which I will let you guys know later so back to the padlock it has um, the uh, print the engraving of Louis Vuitton over here and uh, behind all right if you guys can see that it's basically Louis Vuitton Paris so I've never removed the padlock from this thing here and I have never closed the bag and lock it with the padlock because I think it's really unnecessary so maybe let me open the bag so that you guys can see how the interior looks like all right so it actually you're able to open it all the way to the end over here which is very good all right but i uh, do not worry because even if you have to open it so huge um none of your items will be able to drop out because um over here as you can see there is this material over here this thing here none of your items can drop out even if you have to open the zip all the way to the bottom so there is a protect protective layer in the interior of the bag and when i open it okay because i actually kept the strap inside so when I open it you can see that it is so spacious and uh, the interior is basically uh, microfiber lining on the inside very wide opening meaning that it's easy for you to take in and take out your items and uh, over here you will see that there are two inner pockets for you to put maybe your cell phone or your your keys or your cards 
Okay, and now for the opposite side, it doesn't have any pockets. So that's the only two inner pockets that you can find. Alright, so as I mentioned, the inside is pretty much like a microfiber lining. It's very, it has a very velvet kind of a feel. So I pretty much highlighted the important parts about this bag. And uh, as I mentioned to you guys earlier, um, usually how I carry this bag is I will put on the uh, shoulder strap. And uh, the shoulder strap does not come together with the bag. Uh, I actually have to purchase it separately. And I didn't know about the strap until the SA told me that you know you can actually purchase the strap. So I asked the SA to show me to show me the straps, and uh, she actually took out the uh, matching strap that looks simply gorgeous when it is attached to the bag. So this is basically how the strap looks like. And I don't think so you can find this strap in this color in the stores anymore. So basically it matches very nicely with the color of my handbag. Okay, it's really gorgeous. So when I pull it out, it will basically look something like this. So for those of you who are interested to know when will I use this bag with the strap and uh, when will I just use it by holding on to the uh, to the uh, to the handles actually it's very much um, predictable because um, if the bag is um, very heavy I would definitely take this thing out and uh, hook on to the bag because um, holding this bag on the crooks of my arm for long periods of, of hours can be very tiring and uh, sometimes you will see that there are some stains or some dent on my arm on my skin so uh, that's where I will start to take this thing out and hook on onto the bag so let me maybe just show you how um, this strap can be hooked on. If you can notice that it has this metal thing over here. So that's where you can actually hook the uh, strap onto it. So just something like this. And then you are done. And same goes to the other strap, the other part. You actually hook it to the other side, which also has this metal piece here. And uh, you can easily just uh, hook it up like this. So once it is hooked up, this is what it looks like. When I carry it uh, on my shoulder, um, I will try to select the uh, length so that you know the back will fall nicely on my hips. So depending on what's your height, you may want to like you know um, choose the uh, higher holes or the uh, lower holes. So for myself, I am 5 feet 3, so the last hole was uh, pretty much um, suitable for me. So right now, let me share with you the uh, pros and cons about owning this um, Elma bag. Because as I mentioned to you earlier, this is my very first Elma bag and um, I was originally planning to get it in the Damier Eben. But after the SA showed me this color, I was pretty pretty much um, breathless because um, this is um, in the epi leather sorry that I did not mention that earlier so it has the uh, Louis Vuitton um, printed or embossed over here maybe it's a bit hard that, to show you guys um, it's in the epi leather and uh, this was pretty much my first epi leather handbag that I got and secondly, I was actually torn between the different colors that the epi leather collection actually offers they have it in purple yellow orange and of course this color which was so unique and uh, after much you know consideration I actually spent maybe about an hour plus trying to decide which color should I get and uh, in the end of the day I just decided to go with um, this cyan you know this bag in cyan so it was really very gorgeous and um, yeah so I just like told myself this is such a gorgeous bag and I really should not miss buying this and of course this bag has studs at the base which is very good and very protective for the bag when you place it you know on any surfaces so it's definitely a bonus to have studs over here and uh, for myself um, as i mentioned to you earlier i will never lock the bag using the padlock here this padlock is more for um, decoration purposes but not for locking it i've never used it that way and um, I have also never used the, um, the, the keys over here because um, I've, ne I've never used the lock so there's no, no, no sense for me to, doesn't make sense for me to um, 
use the keys here and um, what else oh yeah and of course the bag is very versatile as I mentioned to you earlier you can actually carry it using the handle or you can also choose to carry it using the shoulder strap so for myself I would definitely encourage anyone who buys an Elmer bag to purchase the shoulder strap because I noticed that when I decided to dress down meaning that you know I'm using t-shirt with skirt or um, flats I will tend to use this bag with the shoulder strap because by using it that way it kind of like make the bag look less formal but if I'm going for a dinner or a date then I will definitely remove the shoulder strap and uh, use it this way alright so um, this is something that you guys must really consider because um, just the design of this bag itself it really looks very formal but of course it really depends on the color that you choose and uh, things like that but for, my, for me I know that I have a lot of stuff that I put inside this bag or in my normal bag so having a shoulder strap is definitely very very useful so and I also mentioned that you know this bag is very spacious I mean don't get underestimated by the size of it it's only a PM I mean they have it in MM and also the GM which I think is a bit too big for myself so the PM size is just nice for my frame and you can you know have a very big opening for you to you know easily take in and out your items and the interior because it's velvet feel so it gives me that very sophisticated kind of a uh, of a feeling that this bag gives me and of course it has that two inner pockets which is quite thin but it's still good enough for you to slot in your handphone and of course not, last but not least it has that protective um, edge over here meaning that you know given the fact that the design allows the zip to go all the way to the bottom here um, having this thing or this protective layer inner layer is actually very very helpful because um, you don't have to worry that your items might drop out if you were to unzip it all the way to the bottom here so overall i really like this bag and uh, whether is there any negative thing um, that i can associate with this bag right now the answer is um, no because um, i really like it i didn't regret buying this color i didn't regret buying this um, alma bag and i think it's very versatile especially the fact that i have a shoulder strap um, next, um, basically I just want to show you what are the items that I can put inside this uh, bag which is in the PM size Maybe let me just detach the shoulder strap so that it doesn't get so distracting So um, some of you might be wondering whether should I get the uh, BB, the PM, the MM or the GM So I think the, the BB is a bit too small It's really so small that I cannot even fit my umbrella inside So let me start by just showing you um, the things that I would normally put inside here I mean, I have my umbrella which I can put it inside and uh, I have my wallet here which I can, uh, Louis Vuitton long wallet which I can also put it inside and I have my iPad mini slot it inside so I have my Louis Vuitton key pouch which I can slot it inside and I have my Ladurie tissue pouch and I have my card holder okay which I can put it inside too and if I have a hand cream all right this can go inside and if I have my sunglasses okay and those can go inside too so I guess um, those are the things that I would usually bring in my bag and check this out the bag is still half two quarter of half empty I mean you can still put more things inside here and right now the bag starts to weigh quite to weigh quite a bit so for cases like this I guess I would definitely use the um, shoulder strap or otherwise I would just hold it this way so I mean given for myself my daily essentials they can all fit inside this PM size so um, I don't think so I will be planning to buy any size bigger Unless, maybe in future, I mean, if I have kids, where I have to bring their diapers and stuff like that, then maybe I will buy the larger size. But for now, I think 
the uh, PM size is just nice. Okay, so um, with that, that's the end of my bag review for this beautiful Alma Louis Vuitton bag in cyan color. And uh, if you guys have any questions about this bag, feel free to um, drop me a message. Alright, so um, with that, thank you for watching my video and take care. Bye!